All right, guys, that's the um, the uh, two-hearted inspired double IPA. Um, when I say inspired, it's all centennial. Um, grain bill. It's not really even really based on two-hearted. It's just uh, some uh, basic two-row and some copper malt. Smells good. Oh, nice. I'll get into it. Do a little tasting. Do a little review. It's just under nine percent. So even though it finished at about ten twenty, um, still still pretty big beer. All right, guys. It's uh, Tuesday night. So tomorrow is Homer Wednesday. Wednesday. Ow. So anyway, um, let's go uh, sit down and talk about a few things. I got some up and coming things we need to talk about. Nothing super exciting because I'm pretty boring. All right, guys. That's it. All right. All right, guys, it's me again. All right, let's get into this, dude. So, the nose. I'm picking up the, uh, the biscuity kind of um, maltiness from, from the copper malt that I love. I love that, that smell, that, that flavor that it gives to beers. On the nose, I get like grapefruit. Some more like stone fruit. Really, the scent is we're really coming through this beer. It's almost, almost. There's almost like floral, almost a little bit of mint that I'm getting out of it. But more floral than than mint. I don't know where I'm getting mint at. Maybe it's from. Maybe it's from my hands, the soap on my hands, probably. But yeah, definitely getting like a lot of grapefruit. Um, it's citrusy. It's like that kind of um, grapefruity, kind of blood orangey, where it's almost, almost got a little bit of tartness to it. But uh, it's got a really nice mouthfeel on it. Um, I didn't put any oats in it, but. It's finishing at 1020. It's gonna have plenty of mouthfeel. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't finish real sweet. A little bit of sweetness on it, not much. Um, but it's also 80 plus IBU. And carbonated and cold. So I don't know what would happen if it um got a chance to sit out and warm up it might be a little bit more sweeter but no in all in all it's good i can't complain it's good beer i like it it's everything i was hoping it's gonna be old school real old school punch you in the face double ipa so my next beer um is gonna be the raw ipa that i've talked about last week um what i didn't have last week but i'm going to use is the uh, proper starter from Omega Yeast Labs, right? So this is a 16 ounce load can, right? And this is wart, starter wart. So what you do with this is you empty it, you add in a um, bottle of water, Ooh, well, just um, you know another additional bottle of water, and uh, that's it. So, so let's, let's read the instructions. Sanitize two liter flask, stir bar, uh, top of can, and yeast pack. Swirl an open can, pour contents into flask. Add 16 ounce of bottled, distilled, or boiled and cooled water to flask. So, just for your regular old store bought 16 ounce bottle of water is fine. Uh, pitch the yeast, stir it around, whatever, put it on your starter, and there you go. So, that's it. It's pretty cool, and this was uh, on sale at more beer I think it was like 13 bucks um, that's without shipping so I went ahead and got a four pack for $13 and um, yeah we'll see how that those are shelf stable for a year I think it's the um, I think it's used by is a year is shelf life so anyway then a couple weeks ago I alluded to this um, but I never said anything not that it's a secret or this big huge surprise I was like a gas just stuck um, with uh, Matt at Rec Brewery um, he was contacted by the people at Inkbird 
um, in turn, he had them contact me. So uh, Matt is going to do a review of the um, uh, temperature probe. I mean, of the temperature controller. This is the wireless um, Wi-Fi enabled uh, temperature controller. So he's got one. I've got one. I think there's a couple more guys out there. I'm not going to speak for them. Um, so I'm going to do an official review for Inkbird. Um, so they gave this free charge. This is mine. Um, all I got to do is do a review, proper review. Um, send to people at Inkbird uh, the link to the video, and um, there we go. So pretty excited. I think I'm going to use that for my next my next beer, which will be the raw IPA. I just got to get the probe in there and run an extension cord, all that stuff to the firm chamber, and I can, I'll let it operate the firm chamber. Um, I need to go in and set the parameters, all that good stuff that you guys know about. Anyway. But yeah, I got a lot of ink perch stuff here. <clears throat> I've got a, a thermometer sitting in the cabinet now. It's a, um, it's like set up more for barbecues, but it's kind of like the my backup thermometer if I think anything's going on with, with these. Um, in my instant read to my kitchen's Inkbird, um, I've got two of the um, Inkbird ITC uh, 2000 controllers boxes set up. So yeah, I mean, why not, right? Uh, they make good quality stuff. Um, it's not super expensive stuff, but it's quality stuff. And um, you know, it's good value, I think. I feel. My opinion. So anyway, um, I got my I got my barley wine bottled. Um, 12 ounce bottles. And guess how many I got? 12, right? 12. I, here's my story. I started out, I sanitized, cleaned and sanitized 12 bottles. That's all I need. That's me talking to myself. That's all I need is 12 bottles. I don't have that much beer in that small keg. And I got the 12 bottles and I was like, I still got more in there. So I went ahead and I sanitized another the other half of the case, another 12 bottles. Cleaned them, sanitized them. Got a bottle, blows on the 13th bottle. So, I went ahead and I bottled um, black IPA for beer mail, uh, nipple for beer mail. So, everything's done. Beer mail, beer, beers are ready. I've just got to box them um, and ship them, right? Create labels and ship. So, everything's there. So, I've got that done. And I blew the keg on the nipple this weekend, which wasn't hard. It only had like three more pints in it after I bottled. So the nipple's gone. Um, black IPA is almost gone. So I've got to get busy brewing. So that's it. Um, I probably won't brew this weekend, but I need to go ahead and I need to get this starter done for the kvike, for the horn doll. Um, you know, that's what I'm going to use for the raw IPA. So, and I'm not going to use a two liter flask for that one. I'm going to use my three liter. Or I've got a five in there. I think it's a five. I may get the big dog out just to try to keep the um, blow off. I've got the the drops. Um, you guys can buy drops that keep keep the krausen down during fermentation. Um, one thing you can use is the um, the baby gas drops from like Kroger or your local store. It's um, comes with a little eyedropper. Um, those are basically the same thing you're buying from White Labs or whatever, um, just in a different package. Works great. Uh, back when I was doing, I don't do 10 gallon batches a lot. Maybe two batches a year, maybe. I have yet to do one on the new system. On my three kegel system, when I did do 10 gallon batches, started the boil with about 14 gallons, which 14 gallons of a kegel is not a whole lot of headspace. Put three or four drops of that in there and everything's peachy keen you don't have to worry about messing with the heat just so you don't boil over so those do work um price wise they're probably quite a bit cheaper than than um than the drops from or the or anything you get from your local home brew store but um yeah just a little tip for you guys um so yeah that's it for me um i don't know got off on a tangent i forget what i was doing before that so I've got I've got that raw IPA to go um, when I make the starter. Yeah, that horn does goes crazy. Um, then I got to figure out what beer I'm going to do after that. I, I don't know. I may I'm thinking about maybe doing the nipple again, just because it's going to be warm out. And I'm going to love it. Um, but I may do something else. I may do something else. 
a beer that people have done, a few people have done, you might have seen reviews of it, it's not Dropkick Nate, I've made that like four times or so, so it's not going to be Dropkick Nate, but there may be another beer out there that um, you guys have seen seen reviews on. I may, I may sneak around and try to get that recipe for that one and get the ingredients together and, and brew it properly. So, alright guys, that's it for me. That's all I got. It's pretty boring this week. Alright guys, alright, 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 cheers, peace.